Hello guys, welcome to a new... I think I'm gonna make this one a vlog. Okay, so it's currently, it's like almost five. Enrique's birthday's tomorrow. His birthday technically is today at 12. So I wanna go to the store, some candles, maybe some flowers, balloons, and try and find him like a little gift, and I wanna make him a nice dinner. So, God, what are you doing? Bajate! These children, I tell you. Take you guys along with me. It's really hot today. Yes, I'm wearing Victoria's bow because I don't want my hair in a ponytail, but I also don't want my bangs in the way. And these actually are really, they're really elastic. So, okay, let's head out. I'm gonna head to Starbucks first, just because I left in a hurry, so I didn't want to cook. So I'm gonna get. Victoria some egg bites, but everybody and their mom is at Starbucks today, obviously because it's nice out. <laughs> yeah, it's actually really hot in Seattle today, which is rare. I think I'm gonna get some kind of refresher and maybe a little treat. I don't know. Boppa. 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 Hi, this is McKenzie. What can I get started for you? Hi, um, can I please get a grande iced passion tea lemonade with Two pumps of sweetener. Yeah, anything else? Yeah, can I also do the ham cheddar and pepper egg bites? Definitely, anything else for you? That will be it, thank All you. Right. All right, it's gonna be 937 at the window. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, just placed my order. I am two cars behind. It's Sunday today. A lot of the stores are closing earlier, but I just, I'm so bad at leaving in the morning and doing all this stuff. I'm such a procrastinator. And then Victoria takes like a two to three hour nap. So she doesn't wake up till like 3 p.m. So it's just kind of hard to schedule around that sometimes, but I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful that this will still work out. Here are those egg bites. Thank you. <gasps> egg bites. Egg bites. Thank you, you so much. No, that's okay. Right. Thank you. Yeah, nice you too. Egg bites! Yay! <laughs> Caliente? Mmm. Mmm, rico? Ma. Mas? Ma. Ma? Okay, I guess she likes it. Ma. Oh, good. Mmm. So right now I'm already, oh, you can see it perfectly. We're already outside of TJ Maxx. So I'm just gonna feed her quick. <laughs> And then we're gonna go ahead and get to shopping. I think at TJ I'm just gonna get the candles and maybe like a gift bag because they sell really good cheap gift bags. And maybe a gift for Enrique. Enrique really likes Que pasó? And really Enrique really likes um TJ Maxx shirts. He likes shirts with like a lot of designs on them. I will get him a few. She did pretty good. She ate one and a half almost. No more? Ba. Okay. Ba. Ba. Okay. When she says ba, ba means no more. Victoria loves smelling the candles. Mm. Mm. Okay, so so far I got two candles. I got this one that says cool dad. I think I'm gonna make a bag that's from Victoria and add stuff that like a baby would add, you know? <laughs> These are the shirts I'm talking about that Enrique loves. She loves like this type of shirt. Okay, that TJ Maxx was pretty empty, so it was kind of a fail, but at least I find that I found that cute candle. So I think I'm just gonna Google a store that I think would have things Enrica would like, like some kind of guy store with like knives and stuff like that. So hopefully better things will come our way. Victoria new book though. Never touch a dragon. And you're touching it! <laughs> okay, so here I'll definitely find something just because Enrique loves guns, so what to get them. These look kind of cool, so he can put his gun. Mm. What are you doing? I just got back from the store. I got all his gifts. I'm so happy. Like, the guy at Big Five, I went to Big Five Sports to get his uh, gift just because it said like they had gun stuff and knives and all that, so I knew that's something he likes. So I got my bag here. I just hope everything fits. So the first thing I got him is this like fanny pack 
but he's like really into survival stuff and just to be prepared all the time so this one's cool because he does like fanny packs and I like how it has these things for water so if we go hiking or something I feel like that's really practical and then I got him this it's a cartridge holder and I got a red dot so these are like accessories for your guns and then I got him a knife like one of those pocket knives but this is like a good brand Victoria got him the candle it says super dad or super cool dad cool dad <laughs> and right now I'm gonna go to the Mexican store I live literally right next to a Mexican store like walking distance 20 feet away it's so nice so I'm gonna buy some ingredients so I can make him one of his favorite meals and maybe some balloons and some cake and then we'll call it a I mean, his birthday's not till tomorrow, but I want something for tonight. I just want to make it special. I don't know how to make this stuff look fancy in the present, so I don't know how to make it pretty. But I think as long as it covers it, right, like you can't see it, I think that's good enough. <laughs> that actually looks okay. I'm sure there's a better way, but... It's all right, <laughs> a mermaid card. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and write my thoughts on there. Okay, got my list of things that I need for the two dishes that I'm making. Victoria's lazy. Mamanos! Okay, there she goes. She was like falling asleep on the couch. Ma Victoria, vámonos, <laughs> vámonos. She's just so lazy right now. Oh my god. Okay, just walking there because, like I said, it's literally walking distance. So, ¿Ahí vienes? Oh wait. store did not have polano peppers they were out it's almost seven and then the other store trader joe's that's like walking distance to me it's also out of poblanos so i think i'm gonna have to drive to fred meyer oh my god and today's so hot like i'm sweating so much but i really want to make that dish because enrique loves it so i'm just gonna have to go to fred meyer now <laughs> i should be cooking right now but okay, okay. Oh, i made it it's like a five minute drive, so it wasn't that bad, but still rushing. Oh, yes. Oh my god, everybody's having a balloon. Okay, I think I'm gonna get some balloons and flowers. Okay, how am I gonna put these in the car? Oh, this does not seem safe. The things I do for you, Enrique. Oh! So they did not have one freaking happy birthday balloon. <laughs> I got a sunflower and wishing you smiles and sunshine because I mean that would make a happy birthday right smiles and sunshine so <sighs> dang you guys I'm sweating okay <laughs> Oh my god, you guys, that is such a hurry. I literally picked like the deadest flowers. Shit. Oh god. Oh well. There's still, it's the thought that counts. I actually got this vase from that guy from my story, the one that was like obsessive. He would always get me flowers and I'd put them in this vase. Okay, you know, they're kind of dead, but they still look pretty. We can make it work. There we go, it looks so pretty. Then you come in and then have your balloons, flowers, gifts. <sighs> now I have to cook. He's gonna be here at 7.15. This is wrong, by the way. I have to change it. Um, it's actually 6.43. I have two dishes I need to cook. I need to do that ASAP. So the first thing I'm gonna do is gonna roast the poblano peppers. That's the one that takes the longest. Um, prepping. Oh my God. I have like a thing of oil here. My whole camera fell on it. I'm like painting you guys because looks good so far oh shit this day is just so chaotic okay I need to get all my ingredients out so I can visually see what I need to do just dumping them all I already got my comfy dress on this is like my pajama dress but it's so hot right now so 
I just need something comfortable while I'm cooking. Okay, I have to put these to cook, I have to fry these, a lot to do. All right, first step, I gotta roast these peppers. Now I gotta roast these. This is for my salsa. This is gonna be for the chicharron. If you don't know what chicharron is, chicharron is pork rinds, um, the dried ones. I'm sure most of you have tried them, but that's how you make chicharron in salsa verde, green sauce. They're dry, but once you put them in the sauce, they get soggy. I know it sounds gross, but it's like a traditional Mexican dish. And then the peppers and the corn are for, it's called, whew, I'm out of breath. I'm like trying to do this all so quick. It's called rajas, rajas con elote. So it's basically poblano peppers, corn, with like a cheesy, creamy sauce. So I'm gonna have those two dishes with some beans, some, some homemade refried beans, and then the homemade tortillas. So it's gonna be so good. But I only have like 20 minutes to finish before Enrique gets here. I don't know if that's possible, but I just might be superwoman and do it. <laughs> The most time consuming part of this like whole meal is waiting for these damn peppers. They take so long to roast. I know they look burnt, but that's how you're supposed to be because you're gonna peel off the skin anyway, but they just have to be very cooked. These in here are just about ready. My corn is about ready. These are the chicharrones I was talking about. So yeah, they're literally just pork rinds. All right, just dumped out my corn. Now I got this free pot again, or pan. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend these veggies so I can cook the sauce in here. I have a jalapeno, onion, garlic, I'm gonna add cilantro and I'm also gonna add some basically just chicken bouillon, um, chicken flavor, just a little bit and then you can add more because you can always add more but you can never take off. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of water, oh, and a lime. I'm gonna do half a lime, just for a little bit of lime flavor. You don't want it to be too overpowering. And then we blend it. Then you gotta make sure you taste it. Mm. That's really good. I think I'm just gonna add a little bit more chicken um, stock and then it'll be perfect. Okay, now that I went ahead and did that, I put some oil in the pan, I'm gonna fry up this sauce. You just let that cook there for a for a couple minutes. Now that my chilies are ready, I'm gonna put them in a bag so that they can sweat. So this is the key to being able to peel off that skin from the chilies, um, leaving them in there just to like steam, and then it'll be really easy to peel them. So I'm putting them in the bag where the chicharron is. Oh, no, the bag broke! Well, that was a major fail. Okay, so I went ahead and put them in a different plastic bag. So I'm just gonna let those sit there for a moment. So this is how the chilies end up looking very dangly, and then that means they're ready to be peeled and to take the seeds out. As you can see, the skin is already starting to just peel off of there so easily. That is what we want. Because if you leave that skin on there, the chili is gonna be like super spicy and it's just not gonna have that nice of a flavor or texture to it, you see? But before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and put my chicharrones in the sauce since my sauce is boiling. So you just mix those in there and then those start getting a little bit soggy after a while and then that is basically it so i'm gonna go ahead and cover those again okay now i'm gonna go ahead and cut the corn okay i'm going to fry up some onion now once those have cooked i'm gonna go ahead and add my corn my chilies Now I'm gonna add the sauce. So the sauce is basically milk, sour cream, chicken stock, and then I'm gonna let that simmer. Oh, and cream cheese. And then once this cooks for a little bit, then we add the cheese on top. Okay, now that this has cooked for a while, by a while I mean like maybe three minutes or so, 
and it starts bubbling, I'm gonna go ahead and add the cheese. And I honestly, you guys, I just eyeball everything. I don't, I never follow a recipe. All right, and then we go ahead and cover that again. So I went ahead and added just a little more milk just to make it creamier. So I don't want it to be that chunky. We want a little bit of creaminess to it. I'm gonna turn that off because that's basically ready. Now I gotta clean the mess. Oh my God, you guys, I did it. I did it. Luckily, Enrique took longer at work, so I had more time. But I got my two dishes out, my rajas, and I got my chile and sal I mean, my chicharrón salsa verde. Right now, I'm just heating up the tortillas, and I'm gonna heat up some refried beans. These are homemade peppers, cheese, bacon. They're refried beans. They're so good. Probably the best beans you would ever have in your life. I'm not even kidding. big ice cubes. <laughs> it's not yet the 20th. Pretty much though. How do you make this? It's that rajas? It's, I made, uh, gosh, Damn, I forgot salsa the verde. salsa verde and rajas. Like, smells like cake. Do you make a cake? No. Oh. That I did not do. I totally forgot about cake. I don't love you anymore. You don't love me. <laughs> I love it. It's delicious. I mean, for a treat. Hopefully, it's as good it as it looks. delicious. I'm sure it's gonna be amazing. Yeah. I put some ice in. I just put ice in there so you can have your first alcoholic beverage. I guess we can always do Inca Cola. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drink beer. You are? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, your first beer. What kind is it? Coconut pour. How many tortillas do you want? I just want a couple tortillas. Okay. Just two. Here it is. Wait, I have a hot tortilla this in my time. hand. Woo! First alcoholic drink in 30 days. <gasps> 29 days in like 23 hours. So. Happy birthday. Mm. I love it. <laughs> yeah, damn, this guy missed it. Oh, I bet. Okay, the only thing that I want to change now is this. Okay. This show right here. Victoria, I am really sorry, but it's not your birthday. It's not mine either yet, technically, but. It is. It it's is. starting already. Shake that. Eating Mexican style, which is. Ooh, what are you trying first? The chicharrón? Yeah, chicharrón and salsa verde. Okay, so you got ah. a nice bite of it. Ooh. Was it hot? It's really good. Oh. <laughs> mm. I made it with lots of ten love. Out of ten. ten out of ten. Five stars on Yelp. Dang, I should open my own restaurant. Mm hmm. And now the rajas. Let me swallow this because of. Uh, oh, you don't want to mix the flavors? I don't want to mix the flavors, yeah. It took you a while. Is that is that sincere? Mm. Is good? What would I ever like to do? <laughs> I will Yay. give them a 10 and a 9.5. Oh, my mom sent me a picture of us. Mm -hmm. when we were like really young on that Mexico City trip. Really? She wasn't knowing it was you. <gasps> I want to see like, you. She was like, who's this girl? You know which one. We were no. hugging that real. Yeah. Oh, it's Karen, obviously. Let's see this old picture. Jelly. <laughs> Go ahead and eat now, eat. and then I'll record again once Enrique opens his presents so we can see if we, we did good. <gasps> um. Yes, of course. Birthday boy. Birthday boy. Uh, I won't put it. It's I'll, like read a... it I'll read it like by myself. Okay. I mean, myself. Look at how our plates are. They're completely finished. Um, I guess I left a tortilla, but I was just too full. I couldn't anymore. What is it? Oh, yeah. I want to try touching it and guess what it is. Okay. Okay. I'm not looking. It looks. It feels like a water bottle in a par, but it's like a bag. And then there's like a little box. This box is. What I'm is not it? Seeing. Perfume. <laughs> is it perfume? No. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know if you have that, honestly. It's a uh, rifle scope. You have that? That's I think why I have the exact same kind. But he said that one is a red dot. Do you have red dot? I have a. It's a red and green dot. But Fuck. it depends. It depends on how much you pay for it. We might have to return it. Okay. It's no, like, I told him that because he. Stuff related with weapons. Well, it's like Running. manly stuff. No, I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Kershaw. This is a knife. Yes. Right? Yeah. Do you have that too? I don't have it. 
but I don't know if you've seen my shotgun. It works with a rifle. It will work with a rifle. First of all, my shotgun does not have a butt stock, like a stock. Serious? And my oh rifle my does not have like a wooden stock, so there's no <laughs> way I can put this here. Oh my god. It's okay, we can return it too. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm happy that you tried. I, I tried my best. It's a knife. I like it, it's super slick. Of course, my candle. From Victoria. Dad. <laughs> Thank you, Victoria. Oh, it smells really good. I know, it smells mm. like clone. It smells like a cool dad. Yeah. Thank you, my love. Let me give you a hugger. Oh! <laughs> I'm so. It's not technically like his birthday, 12, 12, like I said. What he wanted to do today is play video games. I'm just relaxing. I'm so tired from. From doing all that, honestly, like being pregnant makes you so exhausted. Liches, 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 daddy. Mm-hmm, liches, daddy, liches. Look how pretty the sky is. Oh my God. <gasps> it's Enrique's actual birthday. We're gonna go do something. I still don't know what. Yeah. Yes, we're gonna go somewhere as a family, spend the day together. I'm excited, but for now, I'm gonna go to sleep.